I don't know what could be keeping him. Speaking of the devil, here he comes right now. Sorry I'm late. Father, what took you so long? And what happened to your robe? It's all torn. I got held up at church. We have a major rat problem on our hands. Hey, look at what the cat dragged in. Ugh. I can't stand that guy. Who does he think he is? You know, he acts like such a big shot, yet he still hasn't paid back the money I lent him. Now, no, guys. Take it easy. Yeah, father's right. After all, what goes around comes around. I have to go to the, um, ladies' room. Guys, look over there. Oh, my word. Quick, call 911. Well? He's dead, Jim. Hey, what's that white stuff? I'm not sure. We'd better send it to the lab and have an autopsy performed. Well, let's see what we've got here. So, if the sample has a mass of 17.33 grams and a volume of 3 cubic centimeters, to find its density, I divide mass by volume and get approximately 5.77 grams per cubic centimeter. Therefore, the substance must be arsenic. Any leads? I've reviewed the video surveillance footage, and it looks like they all had it out for the guy. A facer. Remember, God never lets the wicked go unpunished. I'll leave you alone to think things over. Dear God, this investigation has hit many dead ends, but one thing that will never change is my trust in you. I know that you'll guide me in the right direction, so that we may get justice for the dentist. Please, give me a sign that you're listening. Hello? Remember that white powder you found at the scene? What about it? I've determined that it was arsenic. Arsenic? Like the kind used in rat poison? Precisely. What is it, sir? I know who killed the dentist. 